Throughout history, there's always been a fear for knowledge to enlighten other people who wasn't in power. For example, you could take the, the Dr. Martin Luther King aspect when he started it wasn't this wasn't a, a bunch of adults that ran behind him or elders. This was children. This was teenagers. This was high school children. Like they went and supported him on the marches and went through all the the bumps and bruises just to be a part of the system. But whatever knowledge that they had at the time was fortuitous for collect collective understanding, right? So every level of creation is going to be a new level of knowledge that's going to allow us to go up as far as how we submit to circumstances that may block certain aspects of us of us going forward and ultimately this may be family this may be jobs this may be friends this may be anything in your life that you're pretty much going to just separate completely from because there's no fortuitous growth. And it wasn't like the elders back then was like happy about it. They was mad when those kids ran off to go join Dr. Martin Luther King. And a lot of them probably lost their lives in that process. But for the most part, it changed things that how it would be today. So there's always going to be a level of people who are older than you that do not agree with how you conduct on a new level of thinking. I'm pretty sure a lot of us go through that, you know what I mean? And moreover than just that understanding, me personally, I've experienced that and probably still experience it, just not visualizing it or seeing people actually do it. But I feel it, you know what I mean? And for me, when I was born, to submit to something that wasn't love or wasn't where I came from, that wasn't something I was going to do as a kid. You know what I mean? Like, if it wasn't, like, I don't know, I had this affinity, like, that's my family, you know what I'm saying? Us, you know what I'm saying? Was, like, I just always had that, you know what I'm saying? Like, our family, like, and then as I got older, I started seeing people submit to certain people. And take on other people's ideologies and I was just like no <laughs> that's that's no I'm not doing that I'm not following you that's stupid and then a lot of times some elders would be like you have to do it I don't have to do anything and they would get mad because I just wouldn't I just wouldn't follow the bandwagon you know what I'm saying like I just wouldn't do what they did you know what I'm saying and they get out here and they're boastful about being slaves People were boastful about <clears throat> being controlled. People were boastful about stealing and getting handouts and lying about the process of how things work instead of just standing collectively to, re to, to lift everybody up. So then it's it's almost like it's almost like reverse Jenga, right? So if I'm pulling the pieces out, Jenga gonna fall. But if you put the pieces in, it's gonna grow. That's the whole point. You know what I mean? But you know you can't you can't beat you can't beat nobody into the knowledge because they they comfortable where they at you know what I'm saying and is that they, they're afraid just like the old heads when Dr. Martin Luther King was about to do his thing they was afraid you know what I'm saying it was like nah don't stir the pot up come on back to my deal <laughs> you know what I'm saying and, and, and eat over here or whatever you know what I'm saying who I heard say that I think I heard uh, dude say that whatever I ain't trying to get no shine but. Um. Yeah. Uh. For the most part, is that was collective. That's how it was. I remember when we was little, when we first came down south, they had the candy lady. You know what I'm saying? You go to the candy lady. <laughs> you know what I mean? You get everything you want to get, but you couldn't find what the candy lady had in the stores, though. That was the whole. That was the whole. The whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Like you couldn't find the candy that the candy lady had in the regular stores. Some of them, but not all of them. You know what I'm saying? And some of the other things the candy lady had, you couldn't get in the stores. You know what I mean? So 
and the prices too. Everybody will go to the candy lady. Or you'll have somebody in the hood selling plates. I had a homegirl I went to school with, and she used to sell plates. And I stayed going to her house <laughs> and getting me some turkey wings. <laughs> Little fried turkey wings, you know what I'm saying? Like, I run up there to get two plates. Like, what? ASAP. It's different when you got a connection in the hood of something of good value. But since the system teaches destruction, you get this thing inside of your mind that you believe it's you. That's because you don't know who you are. You know all this negative energy that we propagate from our culture right now is not particularly our culture it's what your culture was taught the negative energy that propagates through our culture right now is because of the failed reason of how to handle the circumstances that took place so since you couldn't solve what took place when these things happened to you in a in a different time it cultivated over into your life as a negative aspect to where how you would output on people that's the reality to that and most people don't want to take that into a responsibility. Most people don't want to say, yeah, you know what I mean? Let me fix it because I know that happened and this is no people will let that change them and they'll run their life off that gas. Like you'll let something happen, change you fully. And then now everything you touch, I'm a, I'm a you. I know because I can do this manipulative. But then in the same in the same retrospect, everybody trying to tell somebody how to be. The illest thing my brother told me, this is my older brother, right? We was having a conversation a minute ago. And I was like, yo, nah, why would I respect anybody who don't hold the laws of what they taught me? Like, how am I going to have a respect for you when you raised me like this? Used to say, do this when y'all go out, do this. And now you acting like those rules don't even apply to you in some aspect. You know what I mean? And he was like, he was like, that's your problem. He was like, you always want to call stuff out on the spot. You know what I'm saying? He was like, nah. He was like, I know how to leave people alone in a different way. And I was like, but it's not the point. How you how you going to demand something from me? Like, you still having a conversation with me. You still reaching out to me, having trying to have a level of control over me, but you don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I'd rather just take the hammer and smash it right there in front of you and then let it all be known right out there. My brother was like, <laughs> My brother's like, yo, people going to do certain things. People been doing certain things that you wasn't aware of. That's just you understanding now the full level of how fake somebody was, even in our family. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it was real when he, I was like, you know what? I ain't even think about it like that. You know what I'm saying? I was holding them accountable for what they was teaching me as far as being good. You know what I'm saying? Or doing right by people. When, in fact, you don't even do that. You don't even be right by people. Like, you know? Yeah, you've been like that. You just, you know what I'm saying? Like, that was the whole, like, so then it made me think. So was you teaching me that just so you can make me a person that you can be your real self to later? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's mind blown, but the world be like that. You know what I'm saying? Even the people that's close to you, you know what I'm saying? I remember my brother was telling me one day, he was like, you don't know. You don't know. Mommy be messed up too. <laughs> I was like. What you mean? I was like, it's still my mother. He was like, nah, yo. He was like, you can't. He was like, you can't be getting involved. And mommy did a lot of messed up stuff. He's like, you gonna see? Like, he know the secrets or whatever. He won't tell me though. You know what I'm saying? He was like, yeah, nah, mommy did a lot of messed up stuff. So I'm like, and a lot of that is particularly the reason why I hold on to a certain level of um, moral value people be like yo he been through a lot i don't know why he ain't break yet because the stuff i've been through was my fuel you know what i'm saying like everything i went through taught me what not to be i didn't care like you gotta understand i probably would have ended up being messed up in my head if my family like never if they never turned their back on me and never showed me they wasn't great like never showed me they wasn't like super like the authority aspect when they when they when they dropped that authority aspect, I didn't believe in them no more. That's when it left. Like when you couldn't even stand up for yourself, I was like, I felt that. And then when you didn't stand up for me, I felt that. You know what I'm saying? I felt that so much. Nothing you said was ever going to be authority to me again. And I knew that. You know what I'm saying? And the only thing that became authority to me was what was right. You know what I'm saying? So that was always my fuel after that. I didn't have 
that coming from my people, what they failed to do became my authority. You know what I'm saying? And every time they do something to me, that becomes the new level of authority that I get to stand on because I won't do what you do, especially if I know that's mine. I ain't going to hold you. Nah, girl. 